I'm Charlie Townley, and I'm here with Action Engineering to talk about their double squeegee. So the biggest thing with the double squeegee is to have the proper angle, which is a 15 degree angle. That's the angle that will allow both blades to touch the screen at the same time. The other thing about working with the double squeegee is the amount of pressure. We want just enough pressure to curl the front 5590-55 squeegee back to almost touching the back one, which is a 6590-65 squeegee, and the back one would have just a slight curve to it that will not allow the front one to touch, but will give you the same kind of deposit that two strokes on a standard squeegee would give you. We're now going to go over to Sean's place and you'll see what the results are like using a single squeegee and a double squeegee in terms of productivity. Uh, we're at Sean's place now, which is North Georgia Promotions. We've set up the press so that we are on the fastest speed that we can go with this particular white on a 160 mesh using a 5590-55 squeegee. So our flood and print stroke are as fast as they can get. We couldn't get it done on one stroke, so we're double stroking everything. Okay, so now we're going to use a double blade squeegee with one stroke on a 160 mesh white ink that's for cotton on a red shirt and we're going to time that out and see how long it takes to get that done. The single blade running as well as I could put it together, we were able to get uh, five shirts done in a minute and two seconds. With the double blade squeegee, we were able to get the same five shirts done in 43 seconds that's about a 30% difference in terms of speed and in terms of output.